Okay, I know not many of you are tournament fishermen out there, but for the, you tournament fishermen, what in the world do you do in a tournament when you've had absolutely horrible practice? I've been there, done that. Had days, usually you know, it's like two or three days in a row that we're practicing, where we just absolutely can't figure it out. We can't get a bite. When we get a bite, it's like so random that we just don't have anything figured out. We don't know even why we got a bite. We don't know why we got a bite. What do you do when the tournament starts and you've had practice like that? What's a strategy that I use? Good morning, guys and girls. August 11, August 11, Romans, the book of Romans 12, 21. I'm reading from a Catch a Better Life book by Jimmy Houston. We took about me, it took me about two years to write this book. If uh, you need a copy of this book, just go to jimmyhouston.com, Amazon, Bass Pro, Cabela's, Hobby Lobby, Books a Million, Barnes and Nobles, just about anybody. If you don't want to thank personalized autographs, send us your copy. We'll autograph it, send it back to you. Or if you order from us, be sure you let us know if you want an autograph who you want an autograph to. This book with God's word that you start out in or you sometime during the day you read or you listen to on our YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to that YouTube channel, subscribe to that right now. Catch a Better Life by Jimmy Houston YouTube channel. Romans 12, 21 says, do not overcome, do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome. Do not let it get you down. Do not let it cause you to, to be weighted down. Do not let it cause you consternation. Uh, do not be overcome by evil. Don't let it rule your life, but you overcome evil with good. The dog days of summer can make for some really, really hard fishing. We all know that, don't we? Right now, it can be pretty doggone tough. Just tough getting out there and fishing a little while. When the temperatures start hovering around the 100 degree mark every single day, an added problem generally is dead calm. We don't have that problem right now. It's pretty windy today, and it feels pretty good, actually, if you get out here in the shade. If you can't go several hundred miles north to fish, you might want to look around for a river to fish. Instead of fishing a lake, and most man-made lakes we have here in America, uh, and most of the lakes we have are man-made, except you get down to Florida or you get up in the north somewhere, most of the lakes that we have all over the south are man-made lakes. They're built on rivers. Some of them built on two or three rivers or two or three big creeks. Yeah, you could go up those rivers to fish. The moving water that you have in rivers provides some cool, and rivers being narrow, shade is often available, helping you overcome the heat. I'm in just a little bitty patch of shade right now. It's a lot different than if I was just to walk on out there about 20 feet and get out in the sun. A lot different, a lot different. A lot of times, even in the early afternoon, you can get in the shade on some of those rivers. Today's scripture talks about how to overcome the heat of evil, the heat of evil. How do we pay back those who've done us wrong? How do we pay them back anyway? Well, we don't pay them back. That's right, exactly right. We don't pay them back. We leave that to God. Guys and girls, I know that is like the most difficult thing in the world, particularly for a redneck, particularly for a redneck like me, because we wanna pay folks back when they do us wrong. But we leave that to God. What we do is what this structure says, we overcome. And how in the world do we overcome? We do that with the spirit that God gives us when we're saved. If we're a saved, born-again Christian, he's put his Holy Spirit in us, and we use that spirit to overcome. When we're lied to, we overcome. When we're cheated, we overcome. When we're stolen from, we're talked down to, or if we're disrespected. And let me tell you, that happens almost every single day in this world that we live in right now, this evil world that we live in. We're going to be disrespected. We're going to be talked down to going to be lied to it's going to be lied to we do just the opposite now we're talking we do just the opposite we repay evil with good now we're walking the walk that jesus himself walked and he gave to us praise god thank you lord isn't that amazing we simply repay evil with good we leave the getting even part to god can i tell you he'll always get even for He'll always make it work out for our benefit. No matter how bad it seems, no matter how much money we've lost, no matter how much we've been cheated or lied to, God will work it out for us. Here's our tip for today. This is a pretty good one if you tournament fish. I've done this and won a lot of money doing it. Overcome bad practice days in tournaments by going to all brand new water. <laughs> in other words, I don't care how good it looked. 
I don't care if you got a bite there, don't go back to those spots. Just go to all brand new water. You're just like starting over with a fresh mind again, going to spots you haven't fished, fishing patterns, fishing lures, doing things totally different than you did that did not work during practice. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, make sure you're not